Hello, Klaus. Oh, hello. Uh, this is Adam Smith calling from the website of the Nobel Foundation. Nobel oh, hello. <laughs> hello. Well, many congratulations on the award of the Nobel Prize. Thank you. How did the news reach you? Well, I just uh, was not sure whether I'm dreaming or whether it's reality. So <laughs> it's, uh, it's still it's still a question that I have to clarify with myself. So the call reached you at work from the from Stockholm. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, working at this very moment still at home, uh, uh, just preparing myself for an open day at our institute, which is uh, supposed to start in in about an hour where I uh, uh, will uh, do a few lab tours for interested visitors. Uh, <laughs> it, it remains uh, to be seen whether, whether this is going to work out, but uh, this is at least the plan. I think, yes, the day seems to have taken an unexpected turn, but uh, <laughs> what are your first thoughts on hearing this news? Well, uh, my first thought is um, uh, how uh, many... Uh, friends, colleagues, uh, co-workers, uh, collaborators uh, have uh, directly or indirectly contributed to this. And uh, my very first thoughts are with them. And uh, I have, I feel a, a great deal of uh, gratitude uh, to all of them. Uh, without uh, without uh, their um, uh, contributions uh, and uh, without uh, really concerted uh, research efforts uh, 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 throughout my career, first uh, in Vienna, a very important period, and later on here in uh, Garching in Munich, this just wouldn't have been possible. Mm. And you're the second Hungarian um, to be awarded the prize this week so far. What does that oh, mean? Oh wow! <laughs> wow! I mean, I, I was I was thrilled to bits uh, yesterday when I heard the news about uh, Katalin Kariko. Unfortunately, I don't know her uh, in person yet, but of course, uh, I I know her by by her name very well, and I'm a very, very great admirer of her. Not just not just for for her achievement. Uh, but uh, also for the way she actually achieved uh, what she achieved. Uh, when uh, almost nobody else um, has uh, believed in this, uh, she just uh, went on and, and carried on uh, under very poor circumstances with little funding, uh, but uh, she never gave up. I think, I think uh, this message is almost as important as, uh, as the, the actual uh, achievement. Exactly. It's such a hopeful message that perseverance pays off and... The, uh, yesterday she was saying how important it is not to be distracted by all the things you can't change, but just to focus on what you can do. Absolutely, uh, this is this is uh, really a great, uh, great saying, and and I, I uh, couldn't agree more with it. <laughs> well, well, no doubt the two of you will meet very soon. So, isn't it nice that the Nobel Prize becomes a way to make new friends? <laughs> oh, I am very much looking forward to that. Of course, I very much look forward to to, to that uh, for many reasons, but uh, in this particular case, also uh, for this particular reason, to to be allowed to to meet her first mm. in person. Just very briefly. These attosecond pulses allow us to visualize chemistry in action. They allow us to see things at the time scale of the electron. What are you most excited about being able to see? Well, I think I think uh, it's always exciting to, to see something uh, that uh, no one could see before, and and I, I still vividly remember the excitement that uh, we felt uh, in a very particular. A morning in the basement laboratory of uh, our institute in Vienna, back in Vienna in 2001, uh, when we, we first indeed uh, could uh, resolve uh, electron dynamics uh, that evolved within the oscillation period of uh, visible light. So this was this was a, a just an, an unbelievable <laughs> <laughs> moment, uh, which we think uh, I will never forget. Just this very capability of actually being able to to observe uh, these uh, motions, which uh, which are really the fastest outside the atomic core that occur in nature, but actually with that second science, we have now a tool which uh, basically uh, allows uh, to to develop models uh, that simplify the description of, of of these complex systems. 
and and these simplified models uh, might uh, be handleable even even uh, for today's computers and they can be validated uh, by comparing with uh, with the experiment that can now be performed in 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 in, in real time Mm. So, so exciting to see these things come to life that one, <laughs> one the theorists write about in books, and now here you are revealing it. Well, well, it's been a great pleasure to talk to you, and congratulations again. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. If you enjoyed hearing this call, don't miss our bonus episode where Adam Smith takes a turn as guest and we go behind the scenes from these very special moments. Find it on Acast or wherever you listen to podcasts.